Hello everybody, welcome back to another Wisdom Wednesday. We are continuing with Montaigne, and today's essay is in volume one. It's called On the Uncertainty of Our Judgment, and it deals with the role of fortune in any particular event. No matter how reasonable an argument might sound, it might not actually work in practice, and that's because of fortune. Montaigne uses warfare to make this point. So Montaigne begins by citing generals who did not push home the victory. Um, they did not profit fully from the advantage that they had, and people will criticize the generals and say, you know, you could have gone even further, you could have conquered more lands, etc. Montaigne says, well, but maybe not. As long as the enemy is still standing, it's not clear who has the victory. It's always possible for the enemy to have the victory ultimately. He also says that desperation makes the enemy more dangerous. So you never really want to attack somebody who only has their weapons to protect them because you might be at a disadvantage. Tis dangerous to attack a man you have deprived of all means to escape but by his arms, for necessity teaches violent resolutions. So don't attack people who, out of necessity, will have to fight you back because they will most likely win. But again, it's not clear. And Montaigne makes the point that you can't really always know how the enemy is going to respond. And then he talks about how something that might seem like an advantage ends up being a disadvantage. So for example, soldiers who are dressed lavishly, that improves morale and it also encourages soldiers to think about their self-preservation so they will fight harder. But they might, out of a desire for self-preservation, not actually fight very hard. And the enemy might fight harder to win all of the jewels, all of the equipment that th the soldiers have on. So it might actually just encourage the enemy to fight harder. The same goes for insults. So it is common practice for the victor to insult their enemies, but insulting someone can actually just instigate a further conflict. So the enemy might win ultimately, and then you'll look even stupider because you were insulting them. But like I said, this essay isn't really about warfare. It's about fortune, and it's about how in life there are always a number of factors that we can't control. And this is not to say that Education doesn't matter, it doesn't mean that reason doesn't matter. It simply means that we must live with a certain amount of humility, knowing that even our most rational arguments might not actually work. Because, again, using the warfare metaphor, as long as you're at war, fortune reigns, and nothing is entirely in your control. Throughout the essay, Montaigne is really referencing Boethius's Wheel of Fortune, which also comes from the Stoics, the idea that there is some kind of chance or fate that controls life. And even if you don't necessarily believe in fate, you do notice that in life there are a number of factors that you can't entirely control. So this is how Montaigne ends his essay. We argue rashly and adventurously, says Timaeus in Plato, by reason that, as well as ourselves, our discourses have great participation in the temerity of chance. And so ultimately, this essay is about the way in which we engage with people in any kind of argument, that we can certainly, and we should, use reason, use facts, use evidence to support our arguments. But we have to also recognize that there are a number of factors involved in life and that should make us humble and it should make us think before we start criticizing other people or thinking that our views are always the most perfect because they are the most rational. And I think that, you know, this is hard because Sometimes we are engaged with people who are not really interested in reason at all, or they're not interested in knowing the facts, they're not interested in the evidence, they're really just living by, you know, their emotions or something they've heard, some conspiracy theory. In general, what I took from this essay is that we all need to consider the complexity of life 
and the uncertainty of our judgments. And if we do that, then we can continue to engage with people, but not taunt them, not show off how amazing we are, because first we're instigating others. So I think using that warfare imagery, you know, we are encouraging other people to fight his back. We're, we're constantly at battle and we might end up losing because we didn't notice that we were now a greater target. We didn't notice that, that our argument might not have been the most rational. So uh, I actually found this essay to be one of the best in volume one because Montaigne's argument was the most clear to me. And I thought it was also the most relevant today as we think about public discourse and how we engage with other people in the public square. There is just this arrogance that assumes that we always know perfectly what is best for society or for ourselves and we don't always consider the number of factors involved in making the best decision and these factors may be entirely out of our control or they might be only partially in our control but we can't know and so because of that we have to try to be kind and remember that we don't have all the answers. So I, I thought that this was a particularly relevant essay today. So next week for Wisdom Wednesday, I will probably move to Pascal. I have his pensée in English, actually. So that will be good. I won't have to try to find quotes in an English translation I find, but there is a particular pensée that I'm really looking forward to discussing next week. So let me know what you think about the uncertainty of our judgment, about any of the metaphors that Montaigne uses, about your experience arguing with other people, your thoughts about judgment in general. Um, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye now.